Your farm is just outside the city, correct? Yes. And you were there when this man arrived at the city? Yes. Please tell me, what did you see? Well, it was like a dream. One moment the road was empty, quiet and still. Then in the distance, voices were singing, shouting. They grew louder, closer. You could almost feel the ground tremble as the crowd drew near. Then I noticed palm branches, palm branches waving in the air. And then I saw that many of the men, even the women, were taking their cloaks off their backs and laying them down on the road in front, in front of this one man. I realized this was all about him. Then I realized this was just another prophet, another man claiming to be from God who would so easily entice the feeble-minded with false teachings and lies. Then the words they were shouting came clear. Hosanna, Hosanna. Never had I seen a false prophet worshiped in such a way. When that word touched my ears, my heart wondered, could it be the Messiah? The one we have all been waiting for? They called him King. They called him Savior. He looked more like a peasant than a king. Meek, meager, not mighty. I tried to get closer, but the crowd had grown. More men, more women. Even children came running from the city to join the crowd. Then came the Pharisees, the men of the law, trying to live right, do good. Men of traditions, men who pursued righteousness. And they fumed with anger and hatred at the sight of this man. Never had I seen such animosity towards a self-proclaimed messenger from God. They were usually so quick to dismiss them, but not this man. This man was different indeed. It took the Pharisees quite a while to have their voices heard over the crowd. They were demanding, demanding that this man have the crowd cease their worship. You know what he did? What he said? He said, I tell you, if they keep quiet, the stones will cry out. You know what the Pharisees said? Nothing. They were speechless, meek and humble. He rode in, but weak he was not. He had no fear of being imprisoned, beaten, or stoned. So who was this man? Well, I, uh, I asked one of the women in the crowd who, uh, who he was. Why, that's Jesus, the Messiah. Her face, her face was so genuine, so in love with this man. This man was her God, her Lord, her Savior. It all happened in a moment. Then the man and his followers disappeared into the city as if it was all a dream. I returned to my home, never to see him again, but only to hear of what became of him. I am I'm haunted by this event because I wonder, did I miss it? Did I miss my chance to usher in the Messiah? <laughs>